Hello friends, in this today's video we are going to learn how to perform a skybox server uh, HA configuration. Uh, in order to do that you need to have a GUI access as well as uh, uh, CLI access to the skybox server. Please make sure to have admin credential to it. Um, so skybox ta tag support itself they have prepared a, a HA config file in a cron job methodology wise. So the cron job file has to be uploaded into the server first. So I will ensure to provide that link in the description uh, which I have uploaded in my uh, uh, Google Cloud. I mean uh, my uh, Google Drive. I will provide the link to it. So what you need to do here, upload that file into the uh, Skybox server so that uh, the file will be ready for you to start configuring the necessary things in the server side okay so um, please select the file and uh, for select the file which is kept in your machine uh, after you download from the google drive so you will you do not need to unzip it you need to uh, upload the folder as it is meaning uh, with a zipped format itself okay um, the file is now uploaded okay log into the skybox server using a uh, cli from here uh, you will have to start to perform uh, the unzip of a file which you have uploaded into the server so which should be available on the temp file log on, move to the uh, temp folder and from there uh, copy the file using a copy command so this will be a um, um, made as a copy from here you can uh, unzip it so the unzip uh, after the unzip you can enter into the folder uh, which you have unzipped from there you can verify the list of uh, files what is been exported okay so now uh, the file is ready to perform a uh, next set of configuration so go to the into the folder from there move the folder to a temp folder so that uh, you can uh, um, complete uh, your configuration from there as a temporary uh, get it to the uh, ha folder and uh, try to edit a file called skybox underscore ha underscore um, con file so this will be needed as a pre predecessor or preliminary uh, setup for us once you are in the file try to find an option called set options for rest ping so from there select the uh, sp uh, line item called other server there you need to enter the the other server that is going to be part of a ha configuration for example here i'm typing 1034.2.97 as an uh, ip address of the other uh, ha server which is going to be part of this ha configuration so this is the main and first step in the whole set of configuration please make sure that and uh, don't forget to save this file configuration okay after this step uh, try to uh, copy this file to uh, the other uh, server using as scp operation scp the file name and uh, uh, the other servers uh, username at the ip address so this will complete the operation of uh, copying the file from local to uh, the other server from here log into the other server i mean the secondary server from there try to edit the same file skybox underscore ha or con file and enter the ip address of the primary server uh, where we have already entered the secondary server ip address so basically we are uh, replicating the same work uh, but with the different IP details of uh, primary and secondary server so in that way we are telling the uh, cron job to be available uh, continue to ping the rest ping for between the each server from here on the secondary server get into the uh, sudo system ctl enable in cron job it will enable the uh, um, the cron job that uh, was created uh, sorry the cron job file that has been edited just before 
uh, enter the command sudo systemctl start in cron and verify the uh, cron job status over there it's showing as active okay the status is showing as uh, the service is running from here you can set the secondary server uh, using a command called the uh, chd mod uh, change the value of that specific file uh, from there you can uh, see the file and start the secondary server uh, cron job on the secondary server so this would uh, initiate a bunch of uh, work to complete and then finally it will say high availability is configured on the secondary server okay so in this way yeah we can uh, verify that uh, the uh, uh, secondary server ka ha configuration is done similarly you have to complete the same exercise in the primary server also so that uh, once the primary server uh, cron job has been activated uh, both the server will start to communicate on on its own uh, with uh, the the default uh, rest ping operation that we have enabled so anything that uh, you will continue to perform on the primary server uh, it will come it will be made as a changes on onto the uh, secondary server as well um, so please make sure to follow the steps correctly so that uh, you will not be missed to uh, configure uh, any single step so by default that is uh, set primary um, file will not be seen default that's why you need to use the ch mode operation to enable that file okay after this uh, uh, operation completes it will say as high level ptr uh, configured on the primary server as well that's it you are done with the configuration